Hello everybody, welcome back to a totally brand new episode of Re-Entry the Orbital Simulator. I'm back boob and of course this is the only way is beastly. So, woke up about an hour ago, went on Facebook, I mean don't sleep before you get up an hour ago, I was drinking last night. But I woke up, checked it, top of my feed was uh, a message from, from Re-Entry saying they've updated the game so we can use some of the parts of the Lunar Lander. So... That's what we're going to do. So I'm just having a look at uh, this, uh, what do you call it, this little update that they've done as well. So the camera's been changed. Um, the lunar module, module, as you can see, is considered quite advanced. It's still in very early preview state, and we can use some systems, but we can't descend to the moon yet. Um, so he has said, that it says right here, important regarding journey to the moon and re-entry itself. So apparently it's under heavy rework and is unsuitable in this current version of the game. Uh, lots of course corrections and Saturn V when it throws you into the orbit it's a decaying orbit so you need to do lots of course corrections and stuff like that so trial and error uh, is key and it's going to take a good while to get it right so that's fair enough um, we can still access for every ver early version of the Apollo 8 mission as well as lots of other stuff um, on their GitHub site so now our breaking saves and load state changes so there's lots of changes to how the save and load state works, but it's not yet complete, so that's fine with me. Kind of excited, actually. Uh, it's not on campaign. It's been that long since I've actually done one of these. Anything on historic? Early access? No. Oh, tell me it's on. This must be it, the journey to the moon. Let me check everywhere else first, make sure it's not an academy. In the module lessons, there we go. Well, let's do them first, shall we? Because I've gone down that road before, made a right tit of myself. So, looks like I'm going to be doing an eight part, seven part series. So, let's stay in, guys. It's going to be lots of re entry videos. Let's do this one. Lunar module ingress. Okay. Let's start with that. I can't wait. All right. Welcome to the Lunar Academy. With Lunar Mod Module Academy, even so, the Lunar Module is the advanced spacecraft designed to only work in the vacuum of space. Before we start, save us away. Where is this WRC? There we are. That's a bit. Better. You still have to hold down the middle mouse button, but that's not too bad. I can cope with that for camera angles. So that's been updated a bit, hasn't it? Graphics seem cleaner. Sorry, I'm, it's been quite a, a good few months since I played this, so yeah. Sorry, right, let's carry on. Um, so before we start, it is assumed that you are already familiar with the Apollo Command Module. We are, as we've played it lots of times. And you know how the mechanics of re-entry the orbital simulator works. We do. So the lunar module is a spacecraft designed to land two astronauts on the lunar surface and safely return them back to the command module. So we are currently in Earth orbit and we will perform the initial training of on the lunar module, currently docked and sealed in the command module. So you can use the external view on the view selected and see the configuration. Lunar module is docked and secured in front of the you can see a little button here, switch to LM. Let's have an external shot, shall we? And there. It is. Trying to get a decent... There we go. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Rendering's quite nice on it as well. <laughs> It is. Right, let's get back in there. Roger that. So a docking tunnel just below the main display consoles of the command module is used to enter the lunar module once docked and secured, which is just under here. So the first thing we need to do is get some lights down into the tunnel. So you can see, you can use the tunnel light switch on the upper part of the NDC panel to set this up now. There we go. 
it is on. So I've got the tunnels now illuminated. If you move down to the entrance, you will see a hatch as well as a panel just on the upper left side of the tunnel side of the wall. Yeah, I'm that. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, let's get down here. <laughs> there is the hatch. So we need to get to panel 12, which is right here. And um, what do we need? Oh, no, we need to set the door to the open position first, don't we? Okay. Right. There we are. Okay, then we need to watch the PSI, apparently. Set the door to open position. Look at the PSI gauge on panel 12. You can see it's slowly dropping. When it reads zero, the difference between the lunar module and the command module is zero. When the pressure is equalised, the hatch can be opened. To do this, press C to bring up the tools. I've already got them here. And the communications window and the open hatch button will appear. So press open the hatch and that is done. We'll clear off that first. No, it's still not there yet. Won't be ready soon. No. Not there, is it? Let's open hatch. There we go. Of course, it was bloody there. What an, what an idiot. You can tell them all over, can't you? Right, so we've opened the hatch. When the hatch is open, you, you can use the F4 or view selector to switch the active spacecraft to do this now and enter the lunar, lunar module. All right. So here we are guys, we are actually inside of it now. I know we were earlier but we couldn't see absolutely anything but this, this is it. Uh, as you can see, lots of multiple various things going on over here. It's fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> so we're inside, we've got the light lit. So now let's use the, uh, what's it called, I don't need the camera viewing change, to be honest. I'm okay with it as it is. As you can see, everything is dark, except for the floodlights. So some of the panel indicators when the hatch is open, um, obviously light up. Um, so when the hatch is open, a switch is set illuminating all the floodlights at maximum intensity inside the cabin. Use a view select to move the camera around. And uh, you will see some of the side panels and the fuses we are looking for is panel 40, the EPS panel. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Panel 14. Okay, so panel 14 is located below the panel 16 fuses, and there's a lot of fuses in here. So they are used to control most of the electrical power subsystem. So on panel 14 in the descent section, you will see what can, uh, what, for God's sake, you can see what batteries that are currently powering the spacecraft. And um, verified that the LMP BAT1 and CDR BAT4 talkback indicators indicate the LO. So during launch, the LMP BAT1 and BAT4 automatically set to low meaning their low voltage taps are powering into the spacecraft. So before powering up the LM, most systems are offline to anti-preserve the batteries, of course. So to power uh, two of the batteries has a low power tap allowing uh, them to power the spacecraft itself. Open the checklist menu and notice the checklists command module button. Uh, click this to change the checklist. Menu. So, we do need to do so you did this separation, don't need translunar injection, don't need insertion. Fuel sample is check, that sounds fairly new. I can't see what's actually new on this. This is 
you to open the checklist menu and notice the checklists. Command module button. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I get you. I strongly recommend that you manually manually walk through the pre-launch closeout checklist just to get familiar with the panels. You'll walk through every switch and every panel by panel. Let's do pre-launch closeout. Let's run that, shall we? Just stop taking it. Oh. Right, let's get some buttons press, shall we? <laughs> right, yep, we do that. Uh, as a test, just for this academy lesson, let's turn off the two batteries and inside, and everything inside the cabin will become dark. So set the descent battery on and on to off. If I can press that, then we have a that because I've already kind of started something. Notice the talkback indicator changed to bar pole. Yes, it did indeed. Uh, meaning that the battery is offline. So the descent battery to load do off and everything will go dark. Use a flashlight to see. Okay. In this next lesson, we will learn how to power up the lunar module from its cold, dark state to a fully active state. Okay, I know it was a brief video guys, I got a tad excited when I saw this uh, uploaded, so we will come back at the next video, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help us try to get to our end of year subscriber goal of a thousand subscribers, it's been a pleasure to do these videos again guys, can't wait for the next one, catch you at the next one.